3D Printopia is right around the corner, and I have a few changes I want to make for my entry into the top field drag racers. So, what is 3D Printopia? I'm glad you asked. 3D Printopia, formerly known as East Coast Rep Rap Festival, is a gathering of 3D printing fanatics like you and me. It happens each year at the end of year at the end of September or the first weekend in October. There are over 60 corporate sponsors showing off the latest and greatest in 3D printing technology from all over the country and the world. There will be exhibitors showing off what they do with 3D printing as well as the things they make. There's a build platform speaking stage which will broadcast talks about 3D printing to YouTube live from the event. I sat in to listen to a few of these talks in the past and I've always walked away learning something new. There will be much to see, do, and learn. Now, this year's event is taking place the weekend of September 28th and 29th. If you're going, let me know in the comments. This video, by the way, is sponsored by my friends at PCB Way. We'll talk more about them later in the video. Now, 3D Printopia is full of events. Last year, I saw 3D Gloop bring a giant robotic arm and challenged attendees to a match of tug and war where the goal was to break apart two pieces of PLA held together by, well, 3D Gloop. The Boy Scouts run a Pinewood Derby race, except the cars are 3D printed, and you can enter. You can find the rules on the 3D Printopia website. I'll put a link in the description. Another fun event is the Death Racers. Now, this is the brainchild of the real Sam Prentice. This is basically a last man standing demolition derby with 3D printed vehicles that are borderline battle bots. One of my favorite events is the top fuel dragster races. 3D printed remote control dragsters take each other on in double elimination bracket races. The dragsters are designed by Scott Meredith over at the Edge of 3D YouTube channel and he did a fantastic job in putting this design together. You can go ahead and download the files at printables.com. I'll put a link to those in the description as well. So, as you can see by the pile of parts on my table, I'm in the process of making a few changes to my racer. The first change was to the body. In the past, I had this pink body on there don't laugh, my granddaughter picked the color, she's only six. This year, I'm going green with a scheme meant to resemble a circuit board. I have a video on my channel demonstrating how I used Fusion 360 and Bamboo Studio to get this look. Now, the next thing I'm looking to change is the rear tires. This set here was printed with Overture 95A TPU. Flexible? Yes. Grippy? No. So, I'm going to go with something a little softer, and I'm going to add some fuzzy skin to the tread area for grip. And finally, the big one, the gears. I want something strong that will last. I don't want to have to tear the back end of the car apart every few runs just to replace the gears. I'm looking for something that's going to last quite a few races. So, I'm looking for something that will last. Now, the rules for the races say that all parts must be 3D printed with the exception of the fasteners and electronics, of course. So, metal gears are not an option. PLA isn't as resistant to heat as much as I would like it to be. Now, PET-G seems like it would be a great choice. It's a ductile material, but it's also softer and more flexible and less scratch resistant than either, say, ABS or PLL, PLA, making it a worse choice. Nylon is a good choice, but it can be difficult to print with. Temperature and humidity can affect the shape of the gear. Eh, not for me. Like I said, metal gears are not an option and they must be 3D printed. 
So how about a material that is 3D printed but has the strength characteristics of steel and is able to resist high temperatures? Does such a material exist? Yes, it does, and it's called PEAK. Polyether ketone. I hope I'm saying that right. PEAK is used to fabricate items for demanding applications including bearings, piston parts, pumps, high-performance liquid uh, part columns, compressor plate valves, electric cable insulation. It is one of the few materials compatible with ultra-high vacuum applications, which makes it suitable for aerospace, automotive, and chemical industries. PEAK is also used in medical implants. PEAK is heat and wear resistant and can even be used as a substitute for some metals due to its strength to weight ratio. It sounds great, right? Sign me up. But there's a catch. To print, to 3D print PEAK, you'll need a 3D printer with an extruder that can reach 400 degrees Celsius, a chamber that can be heated to 120 degrees Celsius, and a build plate that can heat to 230 degrees to ensure par proper part release at the end and prevent warping. Obviously, none of these printers behind me meet those specs. So, I reached out to PCBWay. They do more than printed circuit boards and assemblies. They also do CNC machining and 3D printing. I uploaded my gear set to their 3D printing portal, selected the material I wanted, in this case, Peak, and select Submit. submit. About a week later, this box showed up at my door. Let's take a look. First thing I have is a nice little bag. Oh wow. All kinds of cool rulers. All of them shaped like uh, printed circuit boards. I like that. I have some PCB Way logos printed out, resin printed. Tell you what, that actually feels like it would be a good choice for gears too. I'm going to have to experiment with that in the future. And here they are finally. The bread and butter, my gears, as small as they might be, I have the little pinion gear. Wow. That looks good. That looks really good. And here's the larger 30 tooth gear. Pinion's 15 teeth. This is 30. These look great. These look really great. And they're meshing together just perfectly. I like what I see. I wish I would have taken this PLA gear out. I can feel a difference. Now, another thing about Peak, the characteristics of it, it will always be this brownish color. Brown, gold. It's more of a brownish gold to me. Um, it looks good. I like the color. But you're not going to get this in your choice of color. This is your only choice. So let's go ahead, get these installed, and see how it works out for us. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. I'd say the gear's working. Let's put it down on the pavement and see how she runs. Well, that was pretty fun. The gears held up better than I expected. I'm not seeing any wear after about 12 runs. My PLA gears, they've never held up this good. PCBWay.com did an excellent job on these gears. And when the job is that good, you put their name on the side of the car. Overall, this was a good project. It had a little bit of everything. Some printing, some soldering, some assembly. I used five different types of filaments on this racer. There was PLA, Silk PLA, TPU, ASA, and of course, Peak. 
Thanks PCB Way. If you ever have a project that exceeds the capabilities of your printer, maybe the part is too large or you need an exotic material, reach out to PCB Way. They can help. They'll take your product from idea to reality. I hope you found the information in this video useful. If you did, let me know in the comments and hit that like button. Smash that bell so you'll be alerted to new content in the future. Live your life one layer at a time. And if you haven't done it yet, please consider subscribing.